starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. What's the matter? Look at that. Look at what? The black cat. This man in front of Lassie. So what? Well, that's bad luck. You're bad. That's silly. Look at... Oh, no. Double trouble. What's well, gotten into you, Porky? Jeff, if you're not careful, something awful's gonna happen to Lassie. Well, I don't believe in that stuff. Well, if you don't, you'd better. Why? It looks okay to me. Maybe now, but you'll see. Come here, girl. Lassie, don't! What's the matter now? She just walked under the ladder. Well, so what? Good heavens, boys. What's all the excitement? Nothing, Mom. See, Porky? She's okay. Well, so far. Did something happen to Lassie? Not yet, but first a black cat ran in front of her. And then? And then she walked into the ladder. Was that all? All? Oh, isn't that enough? Oh, poor Chief. You don't really think anything's going to happen to Lassie, do you? I sure do. Hey, those are just superstitions. They aren't true. That's what I told him. Well, some people believe in them. Well, I guess we better get going. And where to? Oh, into town with Gramps to do a few errands. Oh, there's a pitcher of chocolate milk in the icebox. You can have it whenever you want it. Now? Not now. Later. Has anybody seen my hat? It's on top of the radio in the parlor. Well, who put it there? You did, my darling. I saw you do it. What's he mad about? Well, he's going into town with me to uh, take a driver's test. And just among us, I think he's worried that he can't pass it. Oh, I thought he had a license. He did, but it expired. It's ridiculous, that's what it is. Just ridiculous. It came as if I never drove a car before. I've been driving cars all my life, and it's just a waste of time, that's all. And that reminds me, Jeff, if we're late, you get Daisy out of the pasture because she's going to cab any week now, and I don't want her out in the evening because it's too damp. Okay. Horse and buggy, white steamer, Stanley steamer, double. The only accident I ever had was the other fellow's fault. Mr. Miller? Well, what's bothering you? You got your head on backwards. Well, what's the difference? Well, when you have your head on backwards, you do everything wrong. Boy, well, I'd sure hate to take a driver's test with my head on backwards. Look, I can pass a driver's test with both eyes closed. That hat on backwards stuff didn't have a thing to do with it. Well, it was just an accident. And anyway, Gramps was upset on account of that test. He had his hat on backwards, didn't he? Boy, I'm sure glad I'm not him either. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not old enough. I wonder what's gonna happen next? Nothing. Well, when it does, don't say I didn't warn you. No. You wanna see an F-86 Sabre jet? Yeah, where? Here. Sure. You take my advice, Jeff, and lock her up in a safe place. Maybe then she'd have a chance. I told you once, I don't believe in that bad luck stuff. And anyway, Mom says there's nothing to it. You don't, huh? No, I don't. Well, tell me something. What? Do you still have that wart on your finger? No, you know it's gone. Why? What did you do to make it go away? I rubbed it with a green elder stick and then buried the stick. And then what? And then by the time the stick had rotted away, the wart was gone. Just like I told you. So what? So it worked, didn't it? Yeah. 
Well, how can you believe me then and you won't believe me now? I mean about the ladder and the black cat. Because Mom says there's nothing to it. Well, you believe the ladder almost killed Lassie, don't you? Well, believe me, Jeff, it's the bad luck working. That wasn't bad luck. That was me. Well, if it was Pokey, believe me, I'd lock him up. Come on in, all the way. Hey, you better shut that window. There. No, this won't be so bad, Lassie. Just pretend you're sick or something. <laughs> well, I know you're not really sick. But this is for your own good. So you stay in here. She'll be safe enough in there, all right. Well, just to make sure. Now all we gotta do is draw a hex line. A what? A hex line. What's that? Don't you even know what a hex line is? Now all we gotta do is go out and draw a line. There, that ought to do it. Do what? Kill all the bad luck. I'm going to cross that line. Why not? Don't you know anything? You cross a hex line, you get twice as much bad luck as before. Twice as much? Yeah. And everybody she touches gets it, too. That's crazy. Yeah? Well, if you don't believe me, then why'd you lock Lassie in? Well, I don't believe you, but, well, like you say, why take chances? Come on, let's put the ladder back. Hey, Jeff? Yeah? You say you don't believe in superstitions. I don't. Then I dare you to walk under it. The ladder? Well, what for? To prove that you're not as scared. Who's scared of a ladder? You, unless you walk under it. Go on, I dare you. Okay. I did it, but now I dare you. Me? Yes, and if you don't do it, you're chicken. Who's chicken? I suppose you think something awful's gonna happen to you. Not me, boy. I have my fingers crossed. Big deal. That's cheating. I dare you to do it again without your fingers crossed. Well, let's do something different. Like what? Like eating. No, not me. What's the matter? Are you scared or something? No. I'm just not hungry. Well, I've got an idea. Let's play catch. Sounds safe. Just let me in pitcher. Well, you pitch it, nobody's safe. Get your mitt, okay? Okay, this first one's gonna be a fastball. Knuckleball. Okay, right in here, boy. Yeah, some knuckleball. Gosh, gosh. Oh, you are right, Lassie. It was just an accident, see? Bad luck. Well, she's okay. We better get this window fixed, though. There's a big piece of cardboard in the barn behind the grindstone. Well, good idea. You go get it and get the hammer and tacks, too. Okay. But wait a minute. I got a better idea. In the rubbish pile on the left, there's an old plastic table cover that Mom threw out. Well, that'll be better because Lassie can see through it and she won't get lonesome. Okay. Maybe 
can see why we locked you up. Boy, the way things are going, there's no telling what could have happened to you. Uh-oh, Lassie. We've got to keep you in a safe place. Tail showing, Lassie. Well, that's a good place for her. Yeah. Yeah, this ought to work pretty good. Until we get a pane of glass. You only had to walk into the ladder. Well, your gramps are sure gonna be mad. It's just only an accident. It's a good thing Lassie didn't cross the hex line. That hex line's a bunch of baloney. Oh, yeah? Then why are you patching the window? To keep the flies out. Well, what do you want to do now? Well, you stay out of danger. I'm okay. How about let's build them something? There's no electric motor in the barn. Okay. It's in Grant's junk, and he won't care. Yeah, especially because he isn't here. You know, Jeff, I'm beginning to feel more like blueberry muffins and chocolate milk instead of an old mortar. You've been snooping. I didn't snoop, I sniffed. Will you look in that pile over there? I'll check this one. Or you have any good luck. Too old to have luck do you any good. I tell you what, let's get the blueberry muffins and chocolate milk. Maybe that'll cheer you up. You'll need your strength. Come on. Look! She's gone. Lassie's gone. She crossed the hex line. Well, we gotta find her. Wait a minute, Chia. Whatever you do, don't touch her. You'll catch her bad luck. Catch it. We got it. Here, Lassie. Here, girl. Come on, girl. Don't touch her. Oh, what's the matter, girl, huh? <laughs> She's trying to show us something. Go ahead, girl. We're coming. Go on. <laughs> Sick. I know she's supposed to have a calf, but but not this soon. It's because Lassie licked her. Well, she's going to have bad luck, too. What's the matter, Daisy, huh, girl? Gosh, something's got to be wrong. She's never acted like this before. Bet it's because Lassie touched her. Boy, she sounds awful sick. Oh. Now, don't you touch me. You touch them both. What difference does it make? You're gonna have seven years' bad luck anyhow. Remember the mirror? No, I feel just like the cow. Well, I think I'd better call Doc Weaver. He'll know what to do. I'm telling you, Jeff, that cow's got a whammy on her. Hello, Jenny. This is Jeff Miller. Well, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, they're okay, too. Jenny, would you please ring Doc Weaver for me? It's real important. Yeah, the cow's got a whammy on her. I mean, she's gonna have a calf. 
Okay, thanks. You and your whammies. You got me all mixed up. You just wait and see. The trouble with you is you believe everything anybody tells you. I only believe what I see with my own two eyes. And I saw the cow lying on the ground, bellowing like she was dying. Well, yeah, I'm here, Jenny. What? Okay, I'll wait. His line's busy. She'll call us back. Well, how about having the chocolate milk and blueberry muffins now? I guess so. You can have them if you want. I'm not hungry. Don't you touch them! Hmm? I won't eat them, Jeff. Why not? Because you touch the cow and Lassie, and they are hex. So that makes you hex. What's that got to do with the blueberry muffins? Well, you touched them, so they're hex. I did not. I just touched the plate. But the muffins are on the plate. Okay, so don't eat them. Mmm, they're good. Delicious. Mm. Doesn't matter, because you're already heck. Okay. Mmm. Hello? Oh, hi, Doc. Well, the reason I'm calling is on account of Daisy. You know, Daisy, our cow. She's just laying on her side in the pasture, and she's acting awful sick. Yeah, I know she's gonna have a calf, but she sounds terrible. Tell him she's got a whammy on her. Hold on a second, would you? Shut up, will you? That was Porky talking. No, they've gone into town. Just Porky and me are here. You will? Oh, okay, thanks. He's coming over right away, and he'll meet us in the pasture. Come on. I thought it was Daisy was sick. Well, it is. Now I got it as fast as I could. <sighs> what seems to be the trouble? Well, just look for yourself. All she does is lie there and moo. She's got bad luck, Doc Weaver. There's no such thing as bad luck, Porky. Well, let's see what's what. What she's got isn't catching, Porky. Is there anything we can do to help, Doc? You sure can. Not me. Both of you. When will the folks be back? A couple hours in time for lunch, I guess. You mean you hope. You did right to call me, Jeff. Here, hold this. Thank you, dear. Well, that's funny. What's funny? The blueberry muffins are out, and only part of one is eaten. <laughs> It's a cinch Porky wasn't here for lunch, then. <laughs> well, someone put them on the table. They were over there on the cupboard. Could it be possible that Porky doesn't like blueberry muffins? I'd sooner believe the moon was made of green cheese. Maybe something's wrong with them. Nothing wrong with these. Mom! Gramps! Yes, he startled me. Quick, come quick. Come on, Gramps. Hey, wait a minute. Stop pulling, will you? What is it, Dan? I'm Stacy. She's sick. Fiddlestick, she's cabin. Oh, I know she is, but she's really sick, Gramps. I called Doc Weaver. He's with her now. Where? In the pasture. Come on. Come on, Randy. Doc, what's the trouble with Davy? No trouble. Have a look. what I call good luck. <laughs> good luck? Good luck. I thought you'd both be interested, so I got your book out of the library. It tells about, oh, all of the superstitions all over the world. Explains where they came from, and tells how none of them really mean anything. It's kind of interesting and fun. What's it say about warts? Warts? Well, let's just take a look and see. W. W, where are you? Here. There is actually some truth to the many superstitious beliefs all over the world about warts. See? Oh, now hold it, Porky. There's more. It is now known that warts are often psychosomatic. Psycho who? Psychosomatic. That means that you can make yourself ache as a result of how you think or feel about something. Oh, well, for instance, if you get a, a stomach ache on the morning you have an exam at school, you know, when there's really nothing the matter with your tummy. You get it? 
Yeah. <laughs> now, let's see. The book goes on to say, if you do something, no matter how ridiculous, which makes you think that a wart will disappear, it will. There is actual scientific basis for this, which has nothing to do with superstition. <laughs> Yes, sir, both them cans are as sound as a dollar. And the first double header we ever had. <laughs> Have a muffin, Mrs. Dad. Don't mind if I do. Gramps passed his driver's test with flying colors. Yes, sir, flying. I showed him how to drive, and with the hat on backwards, too. <laughs> Today sure has been a lucky day. It sure has. And Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th? Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>